rich and TikTok lady. Party for one. 50 metres to go in front of Link. She's pretty rich and party for one. One again for Shin. Three quarters of a Link. She's pretty rich and TikTok. But it's Shayar kicking clear. Well supported. Wahidi Toa is going to come at it late, but Shayar fell in. Shayar has just won from Wahidi Toa. Did... King Magnus from It's Our Time and Frankie Pino. King Magnus just in front of It's Our Time. King Magnus surges away and one again. King Magnus is one of the length. Jimmy the Bear. Ch Ch Senegalia, your long storm together with Sion over on the far side. Senegalia just in front in the shadows. They reach the line. Senegalia beat your long storm Zion along the river. There. Welcome back to the channel, everybody, for CNN Hillside this Saturday. Can't wait for this meeting. A lot of class runners on this card um, and a lot of uh, winners to be found. I'm quite keen on a couple of them. So let's get into the preview and find the winners. Race number one at Sandown Hillside is a two-year-old handicap over the 1,000 metres, and I'm really keen on the well-back first starter for Chris Waller in John McNeil, drawn battery number three, and let's listen to Zoo here. Moved absolutely outstandingly in a recent Flemington jump out. Um, goes around the bend, first up in a 1,000. John McNeil takes because he rode it in the jump out. Really keen on this horse and has been well backed in the early markets and I think will continue to garner more support on race day. Marching for Damien Oliver, Gay Waterhouse, Adrian Bott. Still a main, but uh, probably will be another bridesmaid here. But can go forward with the tricky draw and does have Ollie aboard. And is over the odds at 9.50. Mafia, good horse in the making. Broke the maiden last start and the question is, can it go back to back on the soft surface? And Miss Gambiano, I was happy to take on at 360. I thought it was under the odds for Billy Egan and uh, Peter Moody. But listen to Zoo on top. Race one, Sandown Hillside, 30 the win. Race number two at Sandown Hillside is a benchmark 78 for the Phillies over the 1300 metres at handicap level. And I'm with extra two on top. For Kieran Moe and David uses Wurumu pen uh, with the claim, brings it down to the 51 kilos, drawn perfectly in barrier number four. Uh, ran f uh, one, in, uh, one its maiden last start at kite number 1200, absolutely bolting in that day by six lengths with the big weight of 57.5 kilos. Now drops down to 51 on the below the minimum, and I think it's going to be finding it very, very uh, hard to beat here for Wurumu Penn and Kiramar Dave used to. Second to none for second. Uh, Will, Will Clark and brings it, brings it across. Will Price has the claim. Jenny Jerome, consistent. Laura Lafferty now still has to carry the big weight, but has been winning well its past couple. And Foreign Raider, I thought was over the odds at $15, but extra two on top. Zen and Hillside race two. Wurumu Penn to get the winner here. 25 to win. Race number three at Sandown Hillside is a benchmark 78 handicap over the 2,400 metres. And I'm with JKN. I marked it an absolute moral here. Winning impressively its past three. Billy again in the saddle. Tricky draw on barrier 30. Pardon me, but can run really, really well. And I think he'll be winning here. Soft track now issue. Two from two at the distance. Two from two at Sandown. Um, and just absolutely slaughtered them last start. One by six lengths. Um, has to come up in grey, but I'm confident he can take the step and be winning here for the old combination of Patrick Payne and Billy Egan. Storm King for second, I thought, could run really well. Comes out of a couple of Sydney races. Um, and does have Blake Shin in the saddle with Barry number five, but has the big weight. Mimi's Award, big win last start. First time getting over the line for a while, but can she back it up? That's the question. And Miss Tree Island for Damien Oliver, I think, can run real for Shane Jackson out at Warnham Bull, but has the wide draw Barry 11. But JKN, race three, flowing the uh, race three, Sandon Hillside will be won by JKN, 40 the win. Race number four, Sandown Hillside is a benchmark 70 for the mares over the 1,600 metres, and I've got Frigid on top. Found it hard to split Frigid and Art Arctica, but I'm going to go with Frigid here. Third up, we're moving in the saddle. John Leake Jr. for Peter's Investments has a good draw. Um, 
and has Wurumu Pins claim taking the three off, bringing the weight down to the 56.5 kilos, where Arctica only has the two kilos coming off with the 60, so it only comes at the 58.5. And, already, and uh, Frigid already has a weight advantage on it from last start as well, and Frigid is also drawn better. So happy to go with Frigid. Arctica for second, two from two, second up. Luke Campbell in the set off of Kiramar Davies is going on really well. Dane on tour, I thought, was over the odds at $13 for Damien Oliver. To run well here for David and Coral Feek. And Cyclone Sally was an improver last start running third. But can she back it up? Everyone loves the grey. So I think she can run well. But it's the other grey in the race that will be scoring here. Frigid on top. 15 the win for Petey's Investments. Race number five, Sand and Hillside. It is a benchmark 100 handicap over the 1,000 metres. And the speeds to here that will go straight to the front. And they won't catch her. And that's Dan... It's to Dubai for Peter Moody and Carleen Heppel. Brings the weight down to the 51 kilos. Below the minimum here. Uh, and uh, again, and I really think that this horse is extremely hard to beat. Barry number five, perfect. Will go straight to the top. Where a lot of these will either get back or won't find the lead first. Like Starry Legend, he's drawn wide. He won't find the lead first or the rail. Dance to Dubai will be in a prime position. Find the rail first and just be sprinting away and win. Esther LaRocca can run really well second up with the 55 and a half uh, for Zach Spain and Lloyd Cannibal. Starry Legend probably will beat himself from the wide draw, um, but has the speed to kick up and run well. General by best horse in the race, but it's been a long time since we've seen its best, and I think its best racing days are behind it, though. It did come out of the good one. It was a pass mark there, but does have the big weight against the uh, rising up-and-coming horses. But Dan Super Dubai, race five, Sandon Hillside, 50 the win. Race number six at Sandy and Hillside is a benchmark 17 and handicap over the 1600 metres. Mudamani on top is an emergency needing to get a run, but I'm confident there's going to be a few scratchings here, so he will get a run. But what a win it was last start. Shooting up the fence, dominant win from then uh, remaining undefeated. I'm confident he can remain undefeated here for John McNeil and Chris Waller. Drawn wide, but I don't think that'll matter. Best horse in race, best horse win. Um... Uh, Flash Feeling can run well, ready to win now, and Matthew Cartwright takes the claim, the booster, big win last start, gets the weight up, but has the wide draw, in future history, I think can run really well from the inside draw for Luke Campbell with the big weight, but want to see what it does first up in Australia, and I think we'll be better over a little bit further, but Mudamani on top, race 6 in, and Hillside 20 the win on the emergency, hoping to gain a start. Race number 7 at Sandown Hillside is a... Three-year-old handicap over the 1,600 metres and on with Golden Path on top. Ran down the Yellow Brick Road, winning last start on debut uh, at Pack. And I'm absolutely bolting in that night by three lengths. And I think can repeat the dose here. Has the 54 kilos, drops from the 59.5 from its maiden win. Uh, right up in grey. But I think Mike, Mike, Mick Price and Michael Kent Jr. have got a really smart horse on their hands. And I think should be winning this. Castilian with the blinkers going on. Uh, can really sharpen this horse up for Billy Egan and Patrick Payne. Has just been bobbing around its past couple, but I think with that gear adjustment can run well. Lethal Thoughts will be charging home, and Tokenist, I thought was over the odds at $13, but Golden Path, the winner of race 7, Sand and Hillside, 17, the win. Sand and Hillside, race 8 is a benchmark 84 handicap over the 1,300 metres, and I'm quite keen here on Pacific Ruby. I'm surprised you're getting $5 or above for this horse. Dominant winners. Uh, it's past two before going for a break and one uh, be twice before that as well. So four from four out of its last two campaigns. So undefeated and I'm pretty confident it can res resume with a win here. Matt Cartwright in the saddle drawn well for the Ma Users camp. Uh, uh, tried really well leading into this. Um, so I really think it can take the next step and be winning with the lightweight. First accused. Does carry the big weight, but Scotty Broughton brings it over here, ran in the one and ran in the one goom, and I think can run really well here. Second up, always in the placings, and is over the odds at fourteen dollars. He's now Bonneville. I was happy to take on at the price. Um, yes, he was good last start, but how far back is he going to get here? Where Pacific Ruby is going to be up on the pace, so don't really know how that's going to go. And Sandy Prince had his had his chance last start, and I'm not going to back him this start from barrier number eight. But Pacific Ruby on top, race eight, Sandown Hillside, 25 the win. 
And race number nine at Sandown Hillside to finish the day is a handicap over the 1800 metres. Cherry Tortoni on top for Billy Egan and Patrick Payne. Uh, fourth up here, hard fit, pretty keen on its chances. Looking for a bit of luck after its last start effort where it didn't have any at all in the straight. Um, stays at the same weight, draws wide, gives Billy Egan options, and is the class runner of this field. I'm quite confident it can take this out, and at $14 is way over the odds. Mac Ram for second. The other one I think is over the odds. Up in distance is going to prove beneficial to this horse. John McNeil in the setup for the Hayes boys. Normandy Bridge. Big win last start of a long time off. Well, long time without anything. Um, Blake Shin in the setup, but I'm still going to take it on as favourite. Don't think it should be, uh, and I think others uh, I've got above it, can run well and should be shorter. And Daytona Bay, nothing against the horse, but uh, it's going to be tough for it, but can win. Uh, 52 is going to help this horse, and Barrier 1 will help it as well, but I don't think it's up to this class. But Cherry Tortoni on top, 12 the win to blast out in the last. Thank you, everyone, for watching my preview for Sandown Hillside. Quite a, quite keen on a couple here, and I'm really keen on Dan Sujupai getting the job for us done in race five but i hope you've enjoyed the preview and i'll see you next week and for flemington i got it right this week